Welcome to this video from Advent Computers, which explains how to restore, recover or reinstall Windows on your Advent PC. We cover two different approaches in this tutorial. First, we'll show you how to recover your PC to a working state without losing any programs, settings or data. Second, assuming you've backed up all your important files, we'll reveal how to perform a full destructive recovery of your computer, which basically returns it to the exact state it was in when you first switched it on after purchase. Whichever camp you fall into, this guide has the answers. Just follow it through carefully, making the appropriate choice when asked, and following the part of the guide that applies to you. The first step isn't essential, but one we strongly recommend. If you can boot into Windows, then create a set of recovery DVDs or use a spare 16GB USB stick, which will provide you with a backup recovery solution going forward if the recovery files on your hard disk become inaccessible. To create these disks, Click the Start button to open the Start menu, then select All Programs. Click the Advent folder to open it, and finally select Recovery Backup Wizard. The wizard is self-explanatory. Choose whether to create a set of recovery DVDs or use your spare USB stick, and then follow the prompts, inserting your disks or USB stick when prompted. Once the process finishes, click Exit. Whether or not you have a set of recovery disks, the quickest way to restore your computer is to use the recovery tools on your hard drive. Access these by restarting your computer and then tapping the F8 key until the advanced boot menu appears. If the repair your computer option isn't already highlighted, use the up or down arrow keys to select it. Then press the enter key to continue. If this menu doesn't appear, insert the first of your recovery disks or the recovery USB stick and restart your computer again. This time, the recovery disk should be automatically detected and the recovery process should begin. The next step depends on what you want to do. If you've backed up your data and want to return your PC to the original state it was in when you bought it, wait for the next section. However, first, we're going to show you how to recover your computer to a working state without losing any data, programs or settings. If you're having problems starting Windows, Leave Start Microsoft Windows Repair Environment selected to see if Windows can resolve its own problems. Click Next and follow the instructions. You may have to wait some time as the repair tool attempts to automatically fix your problem. Follow the instructions and restart when prompted, removing your recovery disk first if necessary to see if Windows now boots correctly. If it doesn't, try running the repair tool again. Sometimes it needs to run two or three times before the problem is fixed. If Windows loads, but you need to undo recent changes to your computer, choose Reinstall Windows from the System Recovery menu and click Next. Leave Start Windows System Restore selected and click Next again. Read the description and click Next again. As the description of System Restore states, it basically lets you revert key parts of your computer to an earlier point in time, hopefully undoing the changes that are causing you problems. A list of available restore points will be displayed, with the most recent one selected by default. To see what effect reverting your computer to this restore point will have on your system, click the Scan for Affected Programs button. After a short pause, a list of programs and other system settings will be displayed, letting you see what will be undone. When you've digested the list, click Close to continue. In most cases, the most recent restore point is what you need, so leave it selected before clicking Next, followed by Finish. This will attempt to restore your computer to that point in time hopefully getting it to work correctly again. The process can take a little while, so be patient and reboot when prompted. If this doesn't work, return to System Restore again and try an earlier restore point. If necessary, tick Show More Restore Points to reveal additional restore points you can use. Keep trying different restore points until you're hopefully able to get your computer working properly again. If you want to restore your PC to the condition it was in when you first bought it, and that means losing all of your non-backed up files, including documents, photos, emails and other settings, choose Reinstall Windows from the System Recovery menu and click Next. Now select Start Full Destructive Recovery and click Next again. A warning will appear. Read it carefully one last time, as it will remind you that you're going to lose all files currently stored on your PC's main hard drive. Indicate you're happy to proceed by ticking the box marked Full Destructive Recovery. If using a recovery disk, you may be told that your hard drive already contains recovery files and you'll be given a choice of which to choose. 
Leave the recommended DVD choice selected if this is the case. Finally, click Next to begin the irreversible process. The full destructive recovery and process window will provide you with a five-step summary of what's happening to your computer as it's restored. This can take up to 60 minutes, and if you're restoring from two recovery DVDs, you'll need to be on hand to swap them round at least twice during the restore process. Once complete, you'll be prompted to click OK to restart your computer. Do so. Windows will now load for the first time, just as it did when you first purchased your Advent PC. Setup will then continue to configure your computer. When the Setup Wizard appears, Verify United Kingdom is selected and click Next. Now, enter your name, preferably the same username you used before, and give your Advent computer an obvious name to help identify it on your network. Then, click Next. Enter a password to protect your account, providing a hint if you need a prompt, and click Next again. Read both license agreements, tick both boxes, and click Next again. Click Use Recommended Settings to switch Windows Update on and keep your computer both updated and protected. Next, verify the clock and time zone settings are correct before clicking Next. If you're wirelessly connected, you'll now be prompted to connect to your home network. Select your network from the list and enter the pass key if necessary. Finally, choose Home and let Windows complete the setup process. Once the Windows desktop appears, reinstall your core programs and let Windows update itself through Windows Update. You'll also need to restore any backups you made. To do so, click the Start button, type Backup into the search box, and then click the Restore Data, Files or Computer from Backup link that appears. No existing backup will be listed, so make sure the drive containing your backup is connected to your PC and click Select another backup to restore files from to access it. You should see your backup selected. Click Next and then follow the prompts to restore selected files and folders or your entire backup. Only choose to restore files to their original location if you set up your PC with the same username as you used previously. Once complete, you're ready to start using your PC again.